Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Petros Fore. In today's computer science lesson, we are going to be looking at the binary number system, the language of computers. It is important for us to understand how binary systems work. But first, we are going to be looking at the decimal system. The word deck means 10. When we are counting in years, Decade refers to a period of 10 years, and decagon in mathematics is a shape with 10 sides. So in the decimal system, which is also known as the denary system, we use 10 different digits from 0 up to 9. This is the normal counting system where we formulate numbers using these digits from 0 up to 9. For example, 19 is a combination of 1 and 9, 59 is 5 and 9, 220 is 220. So that is the decimal system. Straight away, we now need to understand what the binary system works like. Look at the words displayed. Let's find out what's in common with them. Bicycle, binary, bilateral. By model. As you can see, we have the word by at the prefix. So, if we are having this, what does by mean? By simply means two. Bicycle, two wheels. Bilateral, two parties involved. By model. So, binary system is a number system that is on base two. So, when we are looking at numbers, and these numbers are in base 2, we call such numbers binary. So only two digits are used, 1 and 0. When it is 1, it simply means on, and when it is 0, it's off. You have seen pictures like this. You have seen in almost all appliances, there is a button, the switch button is represented by a 0 and a 1. So when it's 0, it's off. When it's a 1, it's on. So, you may have seen also switches in household appliances that look like this. So, it was derived from the binary. Let's now see how binary numbers can be represented. This is an example of a binary number. We need to understand what each of these digits represent. As we start, the first digit on your right represents 2 to the power of 0. So when you have a 1, it simply means 2 to the power of 0 is on. When it is a 0 here, it simply means it's off. So what we will do, the value of this is 1 times 2 to the power of 0. Remember, any number to the power of 0 is 1. For the second one, it moves now to 2 to the power of 1. So we are moving from the right, going left, in intervals where we have 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, and it goes on like that. When we are having these numbers now, 0 and 1, remember 1 means on and 0 means off. The result of multiplying 1 times 2 to the power of 0, which is 1, gives us 1. For the second one, 2 to the power of 1 is 2 times 1 is 2. And for the third it's a 0 because it's a 0 times to the power of 3, which is 8. So that gives you 0. So we have 32. The next, we just have to add all these numbers which we found. And the answer should give us 39. So this binary number, which we have been given, when you convert it into the decimal system or the denary, it gives us 39. We need to find out. What is 3 in binary? The first thing we need to look at, remember, we always have to start from 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, going left. So you have to ask yourself, what do I use to get 3 from these combinations which we have? So to get 3, we simply add 2 and 1. That simply means the result will now be 0, 0, 1, 1. So it's 1 for 2 to the power of 0 and 2 to the power of 1. 
That's why we have one one there. Binary numbers are always represented in four bits. So that is important. That's why we have to put two placeholders like this. But even if you find it written as one one, remember if it is in binary, it's not 11, but it will be one one and that is representing three. Let's look at the second example that we have. What is 12 in binary? Remember, like I said, you need to find out what do I use to get 12. You break down according to these representations. You simply say, what is the highest number that I can get, that I can use to get 12? So as you can see, a 2 to the power of 3, we have 8. A 2 to the power of 4, we have 16. And 16 is way bigger than 12. So we are starting to use 8. So 8 will be our first digit. So to 8 plus 4 gives us 12. So in this, we will have the on switches for these two elements and then zeros as it is. So it now will give us 1100. What time is it? In this moment, we need to find out what is the time displayed in this binary watch. Did you know that there are some binary watches that are on the market right now? For us to understand what time is being displayed here, we need to see how the lights are being displayed. We have 8 and 1, and we have 32 and 1. So the top code simply is represented by a 1001, and the bottom one is represented like this. And that this top part is representing a 9, and the bottom one 33. Remember, it's a 9 because this first digit is representing 1 and this one is representing 8. So when you add them, you get 9. And the bottom part is 33. 32 and a 1. Well done. I want you to use the same method that we have been using to convert the binary numbers into decimals or denary. So pause this video and complete the following task. It's time to reveal. Let's see what the first number represents. This represents 90. Remember, you simply place 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, and going all the way. When you find that, now you now have to add the corresponding values. We get 90. For the second part, it's 108, 85, 56, 107, and finally 65. Well done if you managed to get all this correct. But if you didn't, do not worry. Mistakes are part of learning. I want you to observe areas where you made your mistakes and correct yourself. Later, play the same video and try to work this out again to perfect your skills. Moving forward, I want you to read this joke. Please read it and explain it. I want you to post the comment below about your findings. How many people are involved in this statement that we have been given? Until next time, take care of yourselves and don't forget to post your comments, hit like and subscribe to the channel. Pleasant day to you.